Finding a way to stay on top of everything can feel like a full-time job in itself, especially with how fast things move these days. This year, more than ever, there's this real push for personalized task management, software that doesn't just store your data in a generic cloud, but actually fits the way you think. That's where AppFlowy comes into the picture. It's been gaining a lot of ground as a versatile, open-source workspace that promises to give you back control while boosting your daily output. Honestly, it's not just about making lists anymore. It's about creating an environment that works for you. Today, we're going to dive deep into AppFlowy to see if it actually lives up to the hype and how useful it really is for managing a busy life. Starting out with a new tool can sometimes feel like trying to learn a new language, but the first thing we noticed about AppFlowy is how familiar it feels right out of the gate. If you've ever spent time in Notion, you're going to feel right at home because it uses that same block-based logic we've all grown used to. The interface is clean and lean, which we really appreciate because it doesn't overwhelm you with a million buttons you'll never click. Navigating through the sidebar and setting up your first few pages is pretty intuitive. You just type a forward slash and a menu pops up with all your options, tables, text, images, you name it. It's got this native feel to it, being built on Flutter and Rust, so the performance is snappy. There isn't that slight web browser lag you sometimes get with other tools. Everything just clicks into place, and within about 10 minutes, we had a pretty decent dashboard going without having to hunt through a manual. Moving on from the interface, the real potential of this app shows up when you start playing with the AI features. Now, we've seen AI everywhere lately, but the way it's integrated here feels practical rather than gimmicky. It's called AppFlowy AI, and it's designed to be a collaborative partner. What's cool is that it supports high-end models like GPT 4.0 and Claude 3.5, but for the privacy-conscious folks, you can actually run local models like Llama 3 or Mistral right on your own machine via Olama. This means we can ask the AI to summarize a long meeting transcript or brainstorm a project outline without my sensitive data ever leaving my hard drive. We've used it to turn messy brain dumps into structured action plans, and it's surprisingly good at picking up on context. It's not just a chatbot sitting in the corner, it's baked into the editor, so it can help you rewrite sentences or generate tables based on a simple prompt while you're actually doing the work. Building on that AI assistance, the way AppFlowy handles task and project management is where things get really functional for a daily routine. You aren't stuck with just one way to look at your work. You can start with a simple grid for a bird's eye view of your deadlines, and then with a single click, flip that same data into a Kanban board to track your progress. We found the Kanban boards especially helpful for keeping my head straight during busy weeks. Dragging cards from to do to done feels just as satisfying as it should. You can add custom tags, set priorities, and even link different databases together. It handles subtasks and checklists within individual cards too, which is a lifesaver when a project starts getting a bit too complex. Of course, you don't always want to build everything from scratch, and that's where the template library comes in to save some serious time. It's quite a relief to open up the template gallery and find pre-built layouts for things like software development, content calendars, or even just personal habit trackers. These aren't just empty shells, they come with the right properties and views already configured. I remember picking up a sprint backlog template that would have taken me an hour to build manually, but I had it running in about 30 seconds. The community contributes to this as well, so there's a nice variety of setups tailored to different niches. Whether you're a student trying to organize your notes, or a project manager looking for a roadmap, there's usually a solid starting point that you can then tweak to make your own. It really lowers the barrier to getting organized. 
Speaking of being organized, one of the biggest wins for us is the 100% offline mode. We've all been in that spot where the Wi-Fi cuts out at a coffee shop or you're on a flight and realize you can't access your cloud notes. AppFlowy is local first by design, which means your data lives on your device. You don't need an internet connection to open your workspace, edit your pages, or reorganize your tasks. It all stays perfectly responsive because it isn't waiting for a server halfway across the world to respond. Then, when you do get back online, it syncs everything smoothly if you're using their cloud or your own self-hosted server. This gives us a lot of peace of mind, not just for reliability, but also for privacy too. Knowing my life's plans aren't sitting on someone else's server unless I specifically choose to sync them is a huge deal in this day and age. To wrap it all up, AppFlowy is a very productive solution for anyone who wants a private, fast, and highly customizable workspace without the bloat of traditional cloud-only tools. It maintains a great balance between being user-friendly and offering deep technical flexibility, if you're tired of laggy interfaces and want to truly own your data, you should definitely give it a try. Head over to their website and download the desktop version to start building your own personalized workspace today. Use it right away and share your experience in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe to get more videos like this.